Yo, with a man I've known ever since he's joined, uh, ever since he came up to Johannesburg. No matter, it's been a it's been a, a long journey up here, but uh, here we are again. Uh, how are you doing, firstly? No, Hayden, I'm good. It's been a long journey. I've been in Johannesburg for, for six or five years now. Yeah, it's been long. Yeah, but it's been long. So it's been a long journey. I'm good. I'm I'm still alive and kicking. And Corona came. And pa is almost passing now, but we're still alive, fine. And we're grateful for that. Well, another thing to be grateful for is that you got a bit of action now before you obviously move on to bigger things. Um, again, like I asked uh, Talani and Benge, is uh, this sort of a fight just to keep you busy? Um, yeah, this is a uh, keep busy fight. Obviously, we need um, to dust everything out and get back to action and be ready for um, the bigger stage when they come. Let's speak about Prince Glomo. Obviously, 11 wins, 10 losses. Do you see him as a tough opponent at all? I mean, what's your mindset going into this fight? <laughs> um, I don't want to lie. Uh, I don't know why he's been in the losing side that much. Um, he's been in plus 20 fights, obviously, which, is, which makes him uh, almost uh, a good opponent because of 27 fights. He's 20-something fights, I don't know. But I respect him and uh, I respect him as a boxer. Um, I'm not saying that it's going to be an easy fight, but it's a fight that I cannot lose. Yeah. You know, um, I don't know much of Prince Glomo. Maybe I saw him once or twice, but uh, I just need to go and uh, win the fight. It's a fight that I need to win. I have to, without any doubt. I mean, if it's a, if it's even a close fight, I mean, does that damage your reputation? Yeah, it can be. I don't. I don't even want to go to get to like have something to be to look like a close fight or anything i just need to be clean i need to win uh, impressively and 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 and, and, and comfortable because i believe that uh prince lomo is not supposed to be competing with me you know in the same ring so um as much as i'm not i'm not disrespecting him but i don't think uh, i need to give him a chance to shine or do anything you know i just need to take him out of the fight as soon as i can yeah i mean you're still speaking of uh, spoken of sorry really really highly in the boxing circles so for you it's almost inevitable that you you take a step back towards the world title journey again is that how you feel as well um yes because of uh, I've, I've not been active for a long time and the kind of opponents that i've been getting because of uh, trying to get back to action you know it's been hard um, since I vacated my I, my IBO title, uh, things went back and south a bit, you know. But I'm hoping that after this fight and maybe if I get another fight, especially if it's in America or somewhere else where I can get uh, back to um, the Nomeva that I used to be, uh, it would be good. Yes, I did take a step back after losing that IBO the way I just lost it, you know. So it's another story for another day. Otherwise, um, it's boxing. These ups and downs. Yeah. Well, I see on the shirt that you have global uh, boxing stars. Uh, I mean, you, you obviously you yourself, uh, Sean Smith, the whole, pretty much the whole team has joined there. Are you optimistic for the future? Yeah, I'm good. We are happy and obviously leading in the right way. Um, hopefully, everything goes well. Uh, I've been around boxing, so everything that comes, I need to give it a chance and see what it, what it brings for me. So, yeah, I'm now with Global Boxing, and obviously, if the working goal is shown, everything is going to be fine. I'm going to go back to a previous topic, um, obviously, Chifuwa Munyai. I think you knew this was going to come eventually. Um, yeah, he obviously wants the fight against you. Is there a chance that this fight actually happens? I believe that. He was given an opportunity to fight me in this fight and he's the one that turned it down. I don't know what was the reason but um, he, he he's calling me and when he gets the opportunity to step up, he doesn't want to step up. So I just don't know, you know. Um, Spider is one of the boxers that can never ever beat me. Ne? He just wants to fight because he wants to. You know if you're fighting no matter, like the boxer that I'm fighting with now, he, I'm, I'm giving him an opportunity to be fit for the first time ever in their boxing career. Even Spider, if he can fight with me, you will see a fit Spider that you've never seen 
for a longest time. He used to be uh, very good, but not now. So, <clears throat> so um, I don't have a problem fighting with Spider, but I don't know why he did not take the fight. Ne? Because I, I believe that they asked him for this fight, that I'm fighting Prince Lomo now. Uh, I don't know what was the reason for him not to take it. Uh, so I believe that maybe we're going to meet one day if we meet. I'm not interested in talking about him or anything. Whenever we get to a position where we have to fight, we will take it from there. But uh, I can safely say to you, uh, I will never lose to a spider. Ever. Well, I'm guessing the fact that, you know, um, if, you, if you're if you open to the fight one day and then he decides that he wants to take the fight one day, that it would happen. But I wanted to find out with you, your weight divisions. Obviously, you, you've been moving to super lightweights, you're lightweights. What's what's the situation? I've not, been, I've not been moving to super lightweight and lightweight. It's my first time fighting super lightweight. But now you've, and, are you moving and, there permanently? And, 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 and no, oh. I'm not. Okay. I'm not moving permanently. I'm fighting in super lightweight this fight. Mm. Uh, we'll see after the fight what, what's going to happen. But I'm a lightweight. And, and is, so that goes for the future? Like if you go fight. I'm a lightweight. I'm a lightweight. I'm, I'm fighting in junior welterweight now. Um, and then from there, we'll take it from there with my team. But I'm a lightweight still fighting in a junior welterweight. Like I did with PS, PBL when I was fighting uh, for the PBL, I was a junior lightweight the weight there was lightweight i had to compete i joined as a lightweight and i won the tournament so so it's something similar to that i'm taking this fight as a junior world well, tournament lightweight there's nothing i didn't say i didn't say i didn't announce anything that's saying Nomeva is changing weight Nomeva is upping a division or whatever is going to junior world well, i'm just fighting this fight in a junior world well, and um, obviously, um, have you got your eyes on anyone worldwide in the lightweight division then? I uh, still want to go back and fight. Um, you know what? There's a, there's a boy there that um, now is at WPC, what, what, Silver or International. I don't know whether it's Silver or what. Mm. Or Rolando, what, 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 this in me, I assume. I would like to fight the boy because I believe that I'm supposed to be having those titles. Or maybe get a shot for the WPC that I lost to in to Devin Haney, you know, the WPC International and I, WBO. Um, I want to fight for those titles. I, I don't know who they're with now. I don't know who holds them now. But um, yes, uh, for me to get back to that stage, I need to get either one of those titles, WPC International, WBO, or the WPC that, that is it, Rolando. Obviously, yeah. oh yeah. Obviously, worldwide. I mean, your your divisions hotted up now. You got Ryan Garcia, uh, you got Javante Davis, you got Lomachenko. All these names. I mean, how do you think you're gonna go stacking up against these guys as you build momentum towards these guys? Which one of those guys up there would you like to fight? Uh, remember, I lost to Devin Haney. Mm. He's one of the guys that are there. Yes. He's in the mix. And when I was losing to Devin Haney, I saw one thing that I'm still uh, more experienced than him, even though he won the fight but he doesn't have the experience that I have and it goes to most of them. So those boys, they good, fine, but I, I can take most of them, ne, given a, an opportunity and um, obviously having a good time in the training camp, I can take all of them. Uh, I've been around, I fought with good fighters, with big punchers, with uh, skillful boxers, they just uh, um, not too much for me so i just want to find my way back closer to them and then one day i will meet them i just need to get um, the right way to get closer to them so that is why because I, I believe that i cannot just jump from where i am now and jump and say i want to fight uh david i want to fight Devante davis i want to fight uh lomancheco or whoever garcia you know mm. i need to at least fight fight and get my ratings up and then I can now say this is who I want to fight so at the moment I want to build and go up to where I used to be in the ratings so that where the, the international titles come in you get your ratings yes. again all right so going back to this fight against uh, Prince uh, Glomo what's your sort of prediction for the fight what do you what do you think is going to happen here um it's a hundred percent win for me mm. fight regardless of knocking him out or on points but um it's eight rounds 
I'm a 12 round fighter, 10 round at least. So it takes time for me to warm up and start enjoying the fight. You know, I've been in 12 rounds for the longest time in 10 rounds, you know. So this is an eight round fight and maybe he's fine with that. I'm not fine with that that much, but I'm happy to get a fight, you know. So um, I'm gonna take him for the first two, three rounds and just see, put him in the sea and see if he can swim. If I see, okay, he can swim, I'll get a way of how to take him out. Otherwise, I'm gonna throw him deep in the sea and check if he can swim. <laughs> 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 and then remember just lastly do you have a shout out for anybody thanks to anybody um obviously i want to shout out to sean smith my manager and the team that is working with it is the global stars and everything um i want to shout out to my sponsor sustech particular um that's my main sponsor and i want to thank um script band racing and um sport web betting connie Body Care and Ferguson Films, Loiso Consultants, those are my sponsors. I want to thank them for everything that they've been doing for me. And Hurricane, for the Nano Wave masks. Um, you know, um, they are my sponsor, my ambassador for Hurricane masks, Nano Wave, and Sustech. So I want to thank them and everyone that has been supporting me. Yeah.